What's up, guys? Today I'm go. I'm back. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna be reviewing a Owen Escape Escape Pack, um, Jurassic World set. So let's just hop right into the review. So I will move the dinosaurs out, and I will uh, start off with um, Owen here. Um, so yes, this comes with a motorcycle, and there was a little piece in this pack that uh randomly popped out i lost it and i wasn't able to find it so yeah that's that's a problem anyways so i shall get into this review starting out with owen himself i don't want to take him off this uh dirt bike here otherwise it's pretty hard to put him on but i'll do it for the video i could still i'll review the dirt bike just after but anyways so with owen this uh take off his little helmet here okay all right so with Owen, um, uh, it's a pretty simple figure, actually. You have two articulations in the legs. First, um, man, how am I going to do that? Okay. So first, you can move it up each leg, like, up and down, kind of like this, because there's, like, a little rotate thing here. and Or you could just move, like, the whole entire leg here, or just whole entire uh, bottom back here is a little pouch which is new i think i don't know i haven't seen i don't know i don't have any other owens to compare to this one my first owen um i think that's where the little thing that i lost goes into but if you guys know what it is please leave a comment below because i i don't know what it is i didn't even get to see it before it popped out and i only whoops and i wasn't able to find it so yeah but light blue pants, uh, dark blue t-shirt, and some brown shoes. These shoes remind me of Dennis Nedry, I think. Just the design of the shoe just reminds me of the Dennis Nedry. I lost my, er, uh, I lost my Dennis Nedry figure, so please don't get mad at me. But, uh, eventually I'll find it. I think I know where it is. Um, yeah, so anyways. Moving on, his belt is pretty normal here, um... It so, uh, doesn't have any golden buckle, it's just brown, and his arms, they're like half sleeves. They're not short sleeves, but they're not long sleeves, they're like half sleeves. I haven't seen this before. But the arms, uh, you can move just the arm like just the arm like this, or you can move the whole, or like just the, uh, oh my gosh, just the first part of the arm a little bit like that, or you can just move the whole arm like that. And same deal with this arm. The head is was when I first got the figure very like stiff, but now I can move it a little bit better, down and up, side to side, and conveniently it comes with the helmet. So, overview of the helmet. I'm not too sure how to overview a helmet, but anyways, you got the designs of a motorcycle helmet, like the top little thing, and then the hole to stick Owen's head inside and uh, make him a super cool rider. <laughs> So yeah, let me get Owen, he's right here, and I'll just stick the helmet on. It's a little quite hard to put this uh, helmet on, though. Uh, you can see you really have to... Oh, lay whoops. You really have to push it in for it to get in there. Uh, okay, I think that'll do. That'll do for now. But note, when the helmet's in there, it makes it much more harder to move Owen's head. But yeah, now that the helmet's kind of in there, he looks a little bit better. I mean, his head was the normal Owen head. It was just like the hair and stuff. But yeah. Oh yeah, and also his shirt has these little silver little buckles and like the wrinkles. So it's pretty realistic shirt-wise. But yeah, he actually, uh, he actually does a, uh, pretty decent job standing up but i just gotta level him with the oh his legs are uh, a little bit getting off topic here <sighs> yeah let's just say uh let's just say he's not too easy to get to stand <laughs> but yeah, that's overview of the Owen and helmet. Now overview of the dirt bike. Yeah, I've never reviewed a dirt bike on the channel, so this is gonna be a little bit interesting. 
Move, so starting up with the friends here, we got this little thing. I'm not too sure what purpose it serves, but it looks cool. Uh, this wheel is spinnable and uh, it's got the little brake thing here and then a metal little thing and the silver and the black dirt tires, I think. And then over here, we've got the engine or the motor. It's pretty detailed actually, but I don't know how engines or motors work or anything. So yeah, can't give you that one. Over here, there's like this rope design that leads inside. I'm guessing that's what powers it. And then up here, we have this kickstand, which can be pushed all the way up, can be pushed all the way down, and can be put down like that. And it actually stays, which is really cool. It makes it really good as like just a display prop. Moving on, there's these little pegs for your legs. Eh, pegs for your legs. Okay. And there's one on both sides. But yeah, the back tire has a little bit of a thicker tire here. Still got more silver. And yeah, so also in the front, there is a light up here. Um, I think that's to see in the dark. Got these little mirror thing, I think. And then, or thing, I think. <laughs> mirror things, I think. And over here, got these little brake levers, I think. They're brakes because I ride a bike. Like, not uh, not a dirt bike, but uh, a bicycle the bike yeah okay getting off topic <laughs> this is such this is a dinosaur review and i'm talking about bicycles yeah handles here and it is actually very hard to put owen on this thing first you have to like kind of line up his hands and then just kind of put it through the little handles like that and then get the other hand put it through while trying to keep the other hand on and then finally Owen is on the bike. So he looks pretty cool when he's on the bike. Vroom, vroom. But yeah. Anyways, moving on to the back, we have this, uh, the seat here. But he actually, you actually cannot get him to sit down, which kind of sucks. But yeah, anyways, you can get this to turn. But if you, if you do turn this, like, if you do turn it, like, Owen's hands are going to come off. So it's not really worth doing. Uh, there's the seat here. And then... There's a little back piece. I'm not too sure what this serves. It's probably like a backlight or something. But yeah, anyways, I think this is a pretty cool little prop toy. Uh, and just as a little like toy, just go. <laughs> okay, I'm not good at reviewing vehicles on this channel. Um, but yeah, anyways, that is Owen's dirt bike. Uh, moving on to the dinosaurs. First, I'll review this Atrociraptor. I'm pretty sure this is Atrociraptor Tiger. Um, so, yeah. Moving on. So, right on the back of the tail. The tail does not match any part of the body, sadly. But, uh, it is movable. Meaning you could uh, rotate it. It's a little bit stiff. But, why would you want to rotate the tail anyways? Moving on to the top of the body here. Uh, the back, you could flip this little thing up, and the back, he here's a little Jurassic World logo, and, uh, yeah, you guys guessed it, here's the scan code, <laughs> so hopefully you guys can get that in the fax app, I'm not sure, because I'm not, I'm not you guys, so yeah, I, I don't know, <laughs> but yeah, moving on to the, and that can fold right back out, the legs, they are very detailed with the little, uh, knee here, I, really dig this little knee and the <laughs> and then these nicely painted claws here with the little stripes to represent tiger you know the arms once again are not really like uh they're not like uh they're not like painted but like they shirt sure, like they're they're just painted red but they are movable as well as the legs they are movable but the legs are a little bit stiff moving on down here we've got another jurassic world logo two jurassic world logos on one dinosaur Ooh. <laughs> yeah um anyways moving on to the head here uh you can move it around twist it each side it is a tiny bit stiff to twist it to the sides but flopping it right and back up is very smooth and then opening up the jaw is pretty normal like that Rawr! moving on to the eye detail it's a yellow eye with the little snout here as you can see um and then here is the paint for the uh tiger stripes you know i dig it tiger and then the belly is just painted in a 
kind of a kind of a beige and then below the head it's more of that light beige and then down on the tail it's also that light beige so yeah but pretty simple here you get it it's an atrociraptor a new species i dig it but yeah that's the atrociraptor number one next you guessed it number two so this one is pouncing like the uh uh like the like the velociraptor in the uh kitchen set the legacy collection uh kitchen set here um yeah anyways so the jaw can open up and down i dig it and somehow you can move the head so most attack packs i like this i don't think you can move the head this one you can actually move the head but it's similar to moving the other atrociraptor's head next one these arms are movable they look really cool honestly this dinosaur kind of looks mad when the jaw isn't open but when the jaw is open this thing looks like it's in beast mode just gotta straighten out the legs uh, just a little bit. And you can also get him to fly. I believe I can fly. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> oh, boy. Anyways. Yeah, so I've been having troubles trying to get it standing up. So, yeah. Moving on. This is in a very bland paint. I don't know which Atrociraptor this one is. It's not Ghost, because Ghost is black and white. This one is, like, this one is, like, very dark yellow, very very tan yellow. But yeah, the arms are that beige that we saw in Tiger. They're, they are movable. You can move them up and down. Same with this smaller arm that's bent. Or not bent, but like it's kind of folded. And then over here, we've got the brown stripes. Now to the face details, we got these little brown things, the little muzzle, like these brown little scales of paint. And then it'll be or like plastic. And then over here, we got the little yellow eye i dig it and the mouth on all of these dinosaurs are pretty normal got the yellow teeth and the pink inside <laughs> i'm not a expert when it comes to teeth and mouth in wise so i don't know uh what's to expect anyways so under here we've got like that we got a very like it's not it's not the one that was like it's not the one that's on tiger like this it's like it's 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 definitely darker. It's like a very, it's like a dark beige. But it's only this side. The other one is that tan yellow. And then over here, it's more of that, I don't know, compared to this one. It's a little bit darker than this one. But it's not, it's not quite as dark as this one. So, yeah. Quite a mix of different kinds and shades of beiges with this one. But yeah, moving on, the legs are movable and... Under it, we got the Jurassic World logo, and on this one, we have these little black specks, which is something Mattel really likes to do. They to, I don't know if they like to do it, or they just do it for cosmetic, but it's got these little specks, which is cool. Moving on to the tail, at the very tip of the tail, it's actually that, uh, it's actually the similar, it's actually the color that's on the bottom of the tail, so continues to just the tip of the back of the tail. And then back here, we got some stripes on each side. The tail is yet rotatable, so you can rotate it. I don't know why you'd want to, but you can, which is awesome. Now, moving on, I got the little switch that you can pull up here. There's another Jurassic World logo, and yeah, you guessed it. Here's the scan code for the Fax app. Um, but yeah, that is this nice look at Atrociraptor. I'm not too sure the name of it because it's not Ghost and it's not Tiger. And yeah, so I, yeah, so I forgot if it is. Whoever, I don't know. I think I'm getting uh, off topic again. Now to the last dinosaur, the young Carnotaurus right here. This one is uh, actually quite different from all the other Carnotauruses that is in the Jurassic World line. But yeah, anyways, starting off with the head, it's got a little green eye. And it's got that very, like, kind of oval snout. Snoot? Snout? Okay. Moving on, up here, one major detail is it's got one horn here, and this other horn is broken. I don't know what happened to the poor young Carnotaurus, but one of the horns isn't there. And it is a and it is a detail thing, because when I scanned this in the fax app, it was also there. So, it's just a detail thing, because it's got the other horn there, too. Next, openable jaw. Like I said, what you should expect, the red, pink, and the teeth. Yeah, at the bottom of the jaw, it is white, and at the bottom of the body, it is just this very dark blue. I know it might look like black to you, but in my opinion, it's just really dark, almost black blue. Uh, 
now it's getting to the very, very, very tiny arm. So you can actually move them like that and uh, make them fly like an airplane. I believe I can fly. <laughs> so you put them down, put them up. They're very tiny because the Carnotaurus has very t tiny arms if you don't know what the Carnotaurus is. Which is okay if you don't. I'm here to teach you. Carnotaurus has very, very small little arms. So you can move them back, forward, back, forward. Yeah. So pretty rotatable arms. Moving on to the top, you've got the little kind of spikes here. And then, once again, there is these small little tiny white specks. I don't know if you can see that on camera. But yeah, moving on at the top here, it's these nice orange stripes. I really dig the color. And yeah, to the legs, there is the Jurassic World logo at the bottom. And these legs are indeed movable. So you can move them like this for full leg adjustment if you want to get it to stand like this. Moving on to the tail, it's the same kind of black-blue color. You can rotate it, but it is very stiff. And once again, why would you want to rotate the tail? I mean... Well, you can, which it always gives you the option to, which is great. And moving on up here, you got the little tab, so you open that up. The Jurassic World logo right here. And you guessed it. Here's the scan code for the Fax app. If you guys would like to scan this, there's the scan code. So, yeah. That's it for the review of this whole pack. Comes with... The dinosaur, it comes with the Carnotaurus, it comes with Owen, it comes with the dirt bike or motorcycle or whatever this is. It comes with a Trociraptor Tiger, I'm pretty sure it's Tiger, I'm not sure, I should search it up after. And then this other cool looking pouncing a Trociraptor. But yep, that is a overview of this whole set. I will be doing another review right after this one on a Moros Intrepidus, so yeah. Uh, have a wonderful day, guys. Happy New Year's, and uh, sorry, but Merry Christmas. Merry belated Christmas. Merry late Christmas. But yeah, bye, guys.